Perfect. <sighs> you ready? No. Good. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Make Me A Racing Driver. Learning to Drive Part 2 is the name of the episode and we're back once again with this man here, Adam Christodoulou. So we're going to be racing out on track uh, a little bit later on this year at Donington Park. So we're doing some sim training first, then we're going to go on track in his Clio. Hopefully it comes back in one piece this time as well and we'll see how we get on. So Ad, what are we training on? How are we going to do this today? What's the plan? So today uh, we're using the iRacing software and basically we are just going to be working working on driving lines, where we need to position the car on the circuit. Also, uh, Donington's known for its famous crane, the curves going downhill, the car gets very light. So just where we need to position the car exactly, braking points. It's just to get a running start for when we go there um, soon in the Clio. We're on iRacing, then what uh, car are we going to use? Because obviously the Clio is not available in iRacing. No, unfortunately not. And so we looked at some of the other options. I've decided, well, let's go with the old faithful. The Skip Barber doesn't have a pit limiter so we just got to be careful coming out of the pits so the first lap I'll just do fairly steady mm -hmm. this is going obviously into turn one we need to make sure that we're over to the left as much as possible to get it turned in it's a late apex and then we're going to be getting on the power and we're going to be using as much track as we can get away with yeah and then we're going to turn in eventually Real late once, apex it's a very it. late apex yeah. otherwise we end up too far over to the inside so ideally during braking we want to be over here from the previous corner. I'll go for a faster lap on the next lap through. Mm -hmm. Heading into McLean's, we want to again get to the end of the kerb. We're going to be braking. We want to stay probably uh, the first third of the track before we start to turn in. It's very easy to fall into that corner and then you exit early. Right, again, again. nice late apex through there then. Yeah, Donington's all about late apex. Going up into Coppice, I've, I've actually crashed here on a bike before. So when you're going into here, there's, there's, it's a blind apex turning in. So what, you have to find a reference point, presumably, where you turn in. Exactly, so you, you need to look at where the kerb is and that's roughly where you're going to be braking. It's one of these corners that you go up and then it goes into like a tabletop platform. Some cars will absorb the uh, kerb on the inside mm -hmm. uh, and then others won't. So some will be able to use that but depending on how you hit it, you'll go up the kerb and then you'll drop and then you'll hit the second part of the kerb and it will upset the car. Uh, this is the longest straight on the track. So this is where we're going to be, or when you're, when you're racing, here you're going to be probably working in this area to try and overtake into the final chicane. Mm -hmm. We're going to be using around second or third and we need to make sure that we get the car turned and like a real slingshot out the corner, again maximising the exit. So now we'll just pick up a little bit more speed. So when I brake, you can see if I'm braking a little bit too much or not enough. This car, the maximum brake pressure we'll be able to get away with is maybe 70%. You want to get a real straight line actually for McLean's, don't you? That's, exactly. Because I was having a little run around there earlier and I was almost 50 feet head Ooh. to the corner. Ignore that, we can edit it, don't worry. I'll get it a little crossed up on this corner and you'll be able to see some of the corrections. Ah. So a, there we go. You're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I've had plenty of practice in one of these. Well. This car is really back to basics, back to grassroots. Uh, no electronics are, are gonna be helping you. It doesn't matter what you race. As long as you're competitive in what you're doing, then that's what really matters and that's when you'll really start to enjoy it. I'm intrigued as to how smooth you're being with the steering wheel, because again, I had a little go in this before we came on and started doing this and I was soaring away at the thing, but I'm guessing smoothness is crucial to being quick in one of these? It's crucial to being quick in anything, basically. The smoother you can be, generally, uh, the, the faster. Ooh. Ooh. He's got it, he's got it, he's, he's got, got it. He's got it, look at that. Just. The problem is, obviously, all that extra speed that you then lost through there, you carry that all the way up to McLean. Exactly, so now it's hurting me. So on the next lap, I'll break it a little bit sooner. Like, if I suddenly whack the steering on, it just makes it a, a hell of a lot busier. Okay, I gained a little bit of time, so it means that maybe I just didn't quite push enough. But, but so now I'm now, it, yeah. I'm now losing on the exit. Is that, is that rule of sort of telling you to go slow to go fast? Oh no, I've oh, almost done it again. Ooh. But, uh, oh no, no, no! Oh, he's off! He's uh, off! He's in the wall! No, he's not! Oh, he's, he's back! Got it. Oh, 
That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. Let's see. Are you trying to see how fast you can go now? Are you, oh, gonna, yeah. are you, are you gonna push or are you gonna push? Like, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna push. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'm not surprised. I'm just impressed. So, ready to start? You give me a cold clapped out tyres, is that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get out there, shall we? See what we can do. Right. Right. Uh, can we up the force feedback just a touch? Oh, I've just got a pit, pit penalty. Pit no, start. I think you're okay. The thing I struggled with on this was actually being able to get it so it's like as in it's not over revving it because I always think that it's got more to give and then it doesn't. <clears throat> That's too soon. Yes. So ideally we want to maximise the entry into the corner and on the outside of the corner. So always look as far ahead as possible. Yeah. Really Tires are cold. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Feel that. Oh, hello. Oh, no. That was lucky. Brown trousers time. Whereabouts are braking down here? So, you're going to be braking around now. Oh, <laughs> not that late. Not that late. Oh, <laughs> Are you looking at this from a point of view of, like, I don't want my Clio to end up like this? <laughs> One, I don't want my Clio to end up like this. And two, I'm in the passenger side. Well, fair <laughs> point. Get to the second, uh, the end of the kerb. Yeah. A bit tight so. on there. Great, just a little early. Let's get it turned. There we go, let's stay on the track. Perfect. There we go. That's your best corner so far. See, yeah, that was crap. <laughs> stay to the left as much as you can, a little break. Get it turned. Oh, a bit late. So we might have gone down a gear shift a little too soon. Yeah, that just sent the back out, didn't it? Yep. Oh, there's an apex there somewhere. Don't worry, now open the steering a little bit. You can hear the tyres squealing, so once you're on the power, ideally you want to have the smallest amount of tyre squeal right. uh, possible. This is when the car will accelerate in at its best. See our previous lap time, there we go. 121.9. Fell in a bit there. Yeah, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Or too late on the power as well, so that's cost. Well, actually you were a little bit too early on the initial power. Right, and then I had to back out And then it. you had to come out of so you, it, you, yeah. you, I remember Jackie Stewart once saying when he was on Top Gear, he said, don't put the power on unless you know you never have to take it off. Exactly. So you can you can use that sausage curve then, like that. Yep. I prefer if you didn't use it in my Clio, but uh, as, as we've got unlimited damage on this, we can use it until the thing falls apart. All right, get it rotated. On the power now, look at your exit. That's a great exit, there we go, stay in the middle, on the clean part of the track. Nice and collected, great. I can There's hear that noise, player. I can oh, hear your no. noise. Oh, I was thinking, oh, we're going, we're going. Nice and wide, because then it makes the braking zone easier. Yeah. Turn, 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 a little bit more. That's a bugger, I lost time there. Yeah, yeah, so we just went a little deep and then you didn't quite turn enough and we just had the wrong angle on the exit, yeah. but so far that's a good time. Right, shall we pause it there? Yeah, if I'd not <laughs> the cleans. Could have been on here. Could have been on. Shocker. So running through the graph, basically this is the time delta. So this is the difference between me and you. Right. So as it goes up, um, I'm gaining. And if it comes down, it's because you're gaining. Uh, you're pretty consistently faster. Well, aside from the first bit, you know, I'm guessing that's the start finish straight there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you could drive in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> I drop off the throttle a lot faster. Yeah. So you're effectively crossing your, your feet over a little bit. Because right, okay. if we look here, we've got almost maximum brake pressure for you. But still, but we've still got some uh, throttle input in so that's that's going to make our braking zone longer you're you're almost you're you're hovering on the throttle pedal mm -hmm. so this like in real life in endurance racing that's going to wear your brakes out more mm -hmm. 
you're going to end up burning more fuel. It's going to make the braking zone longer. So if we can nip that in the bud before uh, we get you back on track next time, then uh, it's a good area for us to start working on. We haven't quite got the track positioning uh, or the, the rotation as much as we'd like. You can also see this. This won't help either because we've been on to get from 0% throttle to 100% throttle. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, it's, I, taken, it's taken you 105 meters. Well, because you can it. see there, I've come on the throttle and then had to get off it again, haven't I? Yeah. So you, you've come on the power, and then you've had to release because you realise oh, I've got a bit of understeer, and in the end, it's taken you 105 meters to get to full power. Mm -hmm. I think we've just got a little bit too much uh, brake pressure because, in fact, it's just yeah, it's it's 88 percent, so it's just a little bit too high. On i racing, you'll start to lock up at this point. Right. If we can keep it so we can maximise around 70 percent, mm -hmm. then uh, then you won't be locking the front and I think it'll be a little bit more controllable. So the difference between our laps is... Your different fast. in lap time is you did a 20.5 and I did a 19.5. So actually okay. it's a bang on a second. For our first serious run, I think that's a good starting point. Okay. We just need to work on making sure that we're not riding the throttle mm -hmm. and also just uh, making sure that we don't uh, lock up the tyres a little bit and then the gears and, and right. that will just eventually come all the way through. Should we get some lunch and come back to it? Sounds good. Good shout. Hello, you join us then after lunch with a belly full of food. I think I'm about six months gone over here. Uh, we're now going to get some practice laps in after after lunch. Get ourselves back out on track at Donington. Get ourselves up to speed, he says, as he goes off track. <laughs> it's a good start. I've lost all my je ne sais quoi. Before lunch, I was Michael Schumacher. Now I'm about as good as Michael Bolton. That's a spin. That's a spin. That is a spin. That's what that is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, direct drive. That's why we need a kill switch. I nearly broke my wrist on this yesterday. Did you crash? Like, properly crash? Proper crash, yeah. So, that's one thing you'll learn. Just like in a race car, when you are about to have a big impact at the very last second, it's easier just to let go of the thing. Where did that come from? Pass. I'm out of fuel anyway. Oh, I'm sweating. I want to go again. Right, so uh, that was the last run. So uh, a perfect way to end the day. So it's when you posted your fastest time. Looking at the lap times, uh, you were in the 19s, the one minute 19s, uh, a lot more often than you have been in any of the other sessions. The other thing that I think helped you as well is when we didn't have uh, the Delta time on. Mm. you focused more on the driving when we had the delta time and it tells you whether you're up or down yeah it's very easy to focus on that and then lose focus on everything else looking at it braking looks pretty much spot on you did here you just jump off the brake mm -hmm. uh, and you can see you've got a lot more steering input in versus uh, myself whereas i've loaded the car up and then i've got to my apex and then i've straightened up whereas you're just hanging on to the wheel for a bit too long i think Today we've had a good day and this is uh, basically giving us good prep for when we're at Donington. Well, thank you very much, Adam. Much appreciated. You're welcome. So, there we are. Next time you see us, we'll be at Donington and uh, we'll go driving in the Clio, see if we can be quick out there. Exactly. Should we do that classic <laughs> vlog thing to camera where we cover the lens and then we uncover it and it's... Hey! Hey, we're at Donington! <laughs> hey, we could do. Is your arm long enough? No. <laughs> <laughs>